Well, I'm back on my hillside looking again. It's been two days and quite a bit of rain and cool since. So um, I didn't think to turn my camera on until I was already two in. One was uh, right away when I hit the hill, I saw it, and the other was already knocked over. It's kind of small, but that's all right. It's another small one, fit in two like the rest, and I already saw one right over here. Okay. Do you see it? Do you see it? <laughs> Just peeking through a little bit. So, I'm not expecting to find a lot. I have found just four so far. Did see one. If I can find it again. <laughs> you look away, and they're gone again. So, there it is right there, right in the center. So, this one's an easy find because, and even the sun is shining on it. It's a fairly easy find there because it's sticking up. It's not hidden under leaves and such. So it's not too hard to to see that one. But some of them are pretty hidden, barely peeking through the leaves, which, you know, again, I'm probably looking at a hundred right here. And I just can't really see them. That is a beautiful one. Probably one of the prettiest ones we've found so far. And a small handful today already. Been out probably maybe 20 minutes so far. And there's one. There's one right over there. <laughs> that one's pretty easy. It's sitting pretty tall there. There's another one. Oh, tiny. Hey guys, today is April 2nd. We are taking another little quick look around the hill here to see if we find any more morels in this area. I found um, a, a small handful two or three days ago. But I also found a new patch in another spot. So we're going to go check those out for the first time with Trav and see what we can find over there. So we're going to take a quick look here and just see if there's anything we've 
overlooked so far. So I found the first one for the day. I don't think there's going to be a whole lot here, but I did find the first one. It's a little, it's a little hard to see, but there's one right there. We haven't gotten any. Where to go? Where to go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Nothing super big this year. So far, everything's been fairly small. Oh, I see it. So it's under, it says honeysuckle. Honeysuckle, honeysuckle right by the, the daffodils. And under the tulip poplars. There's probably so many in the woods up in here that we just can't see. It'd be nice if there was like some way to detect them. Morale hunting on the hillside here, part two. We have found probably about 200 along the hillside here. We did a quick little sweep today and we found a handful so far, but not too much. I did find a new patch a few days ago, so we're on our way to go check that out and thought we'd just go ahead and scan the hill real quick on our way down. And we did find a little patch somewhere. Hold on. Oh, here's one. These are kind of different looking. They're more orangey. I found old patch here, so it looks just... And... Old? Oh, there's one. See, I've already walked over that a couple of times today, so... The old... Yep. And there's one there. There's two found one up there. There's two more there. Yep. So it's hollow. It's hollow. We'll leave the other ones. It's just so different looking than the others. It's really cool. There's probably a lot more <laughs> if we really get to looking. But we're going to take a walk over to this side of the glen, over where the May apples are starting to pop up. Someone had said that that's a, they like the May apples along with the tulip poplars. They seem to really like the honeysuckle as well. So we're going to take a walk over there. I found a new spot on the hill right here, which is under red buds, um, honeysuckle, the may apples right there. It's my husband. Um, so I found about 15 up in that area about three days ago. So they're pretty old now. I left them so we could come back and check and see what this area has to offer. And I can't find most of them now but I did find a few up here, if I can find them again. So I found about 15 the other day. So there's one, and they don't look so hot. Two, three, there's three more right there. Another there. So seven, I had found 15, so they're around here somewhere, but it's uh, just another another spot to look, another instance of randomly finding them growing among the May apples. Oh, whoa.
Humphrey, Wild Humphrey on the hillside there have caught a bit this year. I'm really excited about that. I've been waiting anxiously all year. This is the area I have gotten loads of blood root, tons of blood root this year. And we are looking for morels still. We haven't looked in this area before. And we have loads of May apples popping up, which is where we found the latest morel patch on the other side of the hill. Kind of like a needle in a haystack. different spot yeah, it's a decent one for, t for this year so they're here here we are this is the south facing hill the first one we've ever found over here very first one and it is under what's the trees there's a red bud right there so so far two of the spots are under red bud may apple the trees are what? There's some cherry over there. Look what I just stumbled across as we found our very first morel on the south facing hillside below the mayapple. Look what I found. This is the first time I've actually found mullein growing. We have comfrey and lots of different things up there growing on the hillside. And so, since we found the first one just a couple of minutes ago, here's another one. These seem to be a little bigger. Yeah, yeah, that's well. an old one. Yeah. Yeah, you just kind of leave it. But they're here. That's exciting, so we're going to keep looking, see what we can find. Trav has found another one, so I'm doing a quick scan on the way over to him, so we can see what he found. I wonder how much is up there that we just can't see. It's a tiny one, huh? Oh, no, it's not. It's decent. So, for anybody unaware, we say a patch because the mycelium underground is, is one unit. So it's kind of a mat that it grows out, but, you know, at some point it stops. So everything will be found within that for each family. And that's why the up the hill was different from the bottom of the hill, which was different from those. These ones really match what's on the north facing hill on the top side, except they are all so far a much larger version. So, if that helps, I hope. I'm sure it does. Nature's so pretty. Nature. Nature? Yeah. Every leaf Absolutely. is beautiful. Every leaf is unique. And just about every leaf is beneficial in one way or another. 